Hello and thank you for joining my new channel, Curtain Call, where you can't have it all, but we're still going to have a ball. And let me tell you, I'll be your host, JP, you'll be my audience, and what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do trading cards. We're going to open them on the channel for you, and we're going to have a lot of fun with that. But on top of that, we're also going to go across a few series of trading cards and also do some unboxings of statues figures and kind of go over their articulations and, and design quality, different pieces like that. Our channel is really going to be focused on the artwork that these amazing artists put on the products that we love and enjoy every day that we have them. And I tell you what, we're going to have fun in this channel. But I just want to get into a little history about myself. I grew up playing competitive trading cards against my friends, and I had a lot of fun. And I kind of stopped that in middle school, but I picked it back up in college. I didn't play competitively, but I bought them and sold them just to see the artwork, see how amazing these pieces of paper <laughs> with some foil can look. And the design and quality of these trading cards are just incredible. But on top of that, some of us also play this competitively, and I understand that, and that's awesome. I, I mean, there's amazing cards out there for these amazing competitive players, and they do big things. It's great. So I just want to go over why this is here. So my theme is more of a theater. That's why I'm your host. I'm just here to kind of push along to what is really going to happen here. And we're going to do fun things with these every episode. It will never be the same. And I tell you what, we're going to do things in this channel that are very different from other channels, but I'll get back to that in a minute. First I want to go over what the heck are we really going to focus on. And I'm going to tell you now. First off, of course there's Yu-Gi-Oh! That's one of the most competitive cards I grew up in. And understand opening them, it's a hit or miss. There's these things called short print cards where it comes in like one in a case or one or two in a case. Very tough things to get, but it doesn't matter. We're doing it because the artist in this series is so great. I love the cover, the quality of the artwork in these. And also, there's a lot of players that I've met through my business that I do wholesaling who play this game. And it is so competitive and it's so amazing. We'll get into it. And I tell you what, it's so much fun. I, that's what I grew up on. But I also grew up on, and I'm sure you can guess it, <laughs> good old fashioned Pokemon. When I was growing up, I remember getting these things. I was, I was first nine years old. And to see the excitement and joy and getting these is just incredible. Because it was the start of a, a children's series of trading cards that really just evolved into something amazing. And it continues to be one of the best children's trading card games that we all love to go through and see amazing artwork like this Rayquaza or however you want to call it. Um, I call it Rayquaza. Some of my other friends call it something else. But I tell you what, I'm just going to call it that. You can correct me if you need to. But it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to be doing openings of these cards. And we're not going to be doing them as like a single box or like a single box of this. I mean, we may put one through an episode. But let me go through the rest of what we're going to start off with. And then I'll get to why this is an interesting channel. So the next series I want to touch base on, and I just recently got into this, is a set called Card Fight Vanguard. Amazing art in these in these boxes. I mean, I went through them and they put a lot of detail in them. It's a very interesting card game. Uh, I've had to watch a TV series to kind of figure it out because it, it, it looked confusing to me and it was. But then I understood and it was really cool. So it's something that you should definitely look into. But before you do, kind of wait. Let's go through this stuff. And if you got, if it's something that you're really interested in, something you want to check out, we'll look at it then because it can get pricey. And then on top of the mainstream stuff, we're going to kind of hit on the lower, the, the not so well known tier, uh, such as like this Justice League Metax set. Uh, I got it on a pretty good discount, but you know what? There's still some amazing art in this. And we'll touch base on it. 
And if I can get a good deal on some of these booster boxes of these uh, off-brand, not, not off-brand, excuse me, uh, some of these not as well-known sets, we'll totally touch them. And I'd love to go through them. I mean, all the artwork of all these card sets are generally amazing. And that's really what this channel is about, is to have entertainment, opening them. You know, I invite all the the watchers who want to see the new sets I invite all the watchers who want to see the pull rates I invite all the watchers who want to see the artwork because what we're going to do we're going to break down into it as we go through them we're going to cover some of the ones I love seeing some of the artwork it's going to be awesome all right so I want to get this stuff down and I want to show you what our first video is going to cover and of course it's got to be one of the biggest it's got to be Pokemon so the Hidden Fates set has been incredible. And of course, I want to show that. And it, and it has been out for a while, but it doesn't matter. It's such an incredible set. I want to share this with you. And you'll get an idea how we open this stuff. But to put it short, I have two cases of these ready to go. So the first channel is actually going to display opening some of them. Probably only six. Uh, we'll probably only open six tins. And I'll get back to why. We're going to be an interesting channel, and there are amazing entertainers who already do this. So we have to do something completely different. And what we're going to do is we're going to involve you. You are going to decide how we're going to do these videos. And you're also going to pick which ones we're opening, what set, what positioning. What does that mean? Well, when I see a case of 10, 12 tins, that, that's how many comes in a case of Pokemon cards. That's 12 options where we can open up, which has a certain amount of packs inside those tins, which we will then open up and potentially get a good card. So what does this mean for you? Well, when I look at a case of 12 tins, I, I count 12. And we'll assign each of those tins a number. And we're going to take let you go to a survey site. And we haven't designed, I haven't quite designed which survey site I'm going to use yet, but we're going to get there. And you're going to go to that survey site, and you're going to pick which ones we're going to do. And the highest rated ones, so in this first case, I'm going to pick the first six. But that's all right, at least 18 more options for the next video, or the next time we open them. You're going to pick it. You're going to say, you know what, JP, I want numbers 1, 8, 10, 12, 15, 17. And I want you to open that. And let's say those are the top number six rated tins to open. We're going to open those. We're going to open those on the channel. There's no redos. There's one take. We're only doing one take. And I tell you what, let's, make, let's up the ante a little bit. So that means we're going to open six tins. That means you can guess which ones we get the good ones in. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do some follow-up questions. We'll do which tin do you think we may get a gold rare? Which tin do you think we'll get a full art shiny rare? Print your results when you're done with the surveys or write them down somewhere. Just remember it, put your date down there, and then the next video that I release, and the uh, poll has to close. So when the surveys are done, it has to be concluded. I'll display the results before I read them, and then we'll go through it and see if we, if we got it on the head, if we did good, how many of us did great. You know, we'll check it out. We'll have fun together. And that's all this is about, just having fun, looking at the art, seeing, you know, hey, awesome. I'm going to think I'm going to get more lightning energy than any other energy. So I'm going to do team lightning for this next video. If more lightning energies were pulled than any other energies, great. You picked right. Congrats. Team lightning wins. It's going to be fun stuff like that. And if you don't get it, no big deal. It's all for fun anyway. That's all this is about. And we can get really interesting with this surveys. And I really do appreciate feedback. I appreciate comments uh, uh, regarding you know what questions you may want to see because I mean it gets a little hard across different card series when you talk about Yu-Gi-Oh uh, generally in a normal Yu-Gi-Oh set you're gonna get about two secret rares you're gonna get a few ultra rares you're gonna get a few other stuff so that's a little harder so what I have to do there is say what secret rares do you think we're gonna get or how many ultra rares do you get because sometimes you get five sometimes you get six it, it, it varies it varies uh, per your set, and sometimes you can even get more than two secret rares of box. I mean, I've done it. I've opened four. I think it was you know an accident on the developer, but I wasn't complaining. And then there's sometimes I got one secret rare, so we can talk about that, uh, how we want to do it, because Yu-Gi-Oh is a little harder, 
Uh, Vanguard's a little easier because sometimes you're able to get a really good rare. You're guaranteed one better than a triple R from my understanding. I may be wrong. You'll let me know if I'm wrong. But I think you're guaranteed at least one better than a triple rare. Um, but sometimes you can get more than just better than one triple rare. I mean, I've gotten two where I've gotten a special rare and another rare and a better than a triple R, and it was great. It was awesome. I said, man, this is a cool set, and you don't know what you're going to get. There's mystery, and that's what we're about. So we'll touch more base on those. I'll try to do a video on what I really mean. I mean, most of you already figured out. You already know what you're going to do. You don't need an email. You don't need to put any gender specifics, age range. I don't care about any of that. We're here for entertainment. That's what our channel is about, and that's all we're going to do, okay? So I want to show you that I am a wholesaler. I deal with these cards often, and I want to show you what kind of stuff we're going to deal with. So Here's the cool thing about what this channel is going to be about. You're going to see stuff like this, which is from the Hidden Fates set. And I hope my voice isn't too muffled, but we're going to run it anyway. But you're going to see stuff like this, right? You're going to see your amazing, amazing guy right there. Our uh, lovely, if I'm pointing at him right, which I am, our lovely Charizard. And guess what? I'm a wholesaler. So what does that mean? I sell this to you guys. So this gets put on my eBay, and I'll, I'll sell that as a package. And I don't believe in inflating prices. I sell at market prices. There's no such thing as, oh, well, if Curtin called JP selling it, then it's got to be worth more. No, 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 no. It's market price. I'm not trying to profit off this uh, in more than if there, and if there is any profit. I mean, this is strictly just market price. That's it. So the cool thing is, if you buy it, you get the cards that I pull from this set. So when I put it up online, it's going to have, uh, let's say, Shiny Charizard Curtain Call Pull. Um, that'll be the exact card that was pulled on the video. And I'll keep, I'll keep all the good cards that get sold Im immediately that are on the channel and are a uh, high value card. What I'll do is I'll release the video and then I'll post it. Uh, so if right now I use the eBay model to sell to sell my supplies. So it'll go right up on eBay right after the video is posted, and somebody can buy that. And then when they get it, they can say, "Yeah, that's the exact card that Curtain Call pulled, the channel Curtain Call. You know, JP pulled that card. That's exactly the one he pulled. And you can relate it. I'll put it in there with the video title so you never forget. I'll write it on the sleeve or something, and that way you have something cool. I mean, it's not worth more in my mind." It's still just a market value card, so it could go up and down in value. It, it's it's not a big deal. Uh, we're not in it to to make that kind of money. I, I don't care about that, but it's a story you get to bring with it and say, you know what, JP pulled this card. That's cool, and I think it's cool because I know there'd be, you know, my audience out there with with these cards, and they're like, yeah, this is totally from the video. That that just makes me happy because it, it's. It gets me excited because you guys really help out and make me do what I want to do. But now we're going to take it to the entertainment aspect right here and now. But other than trading cards, we're also going to cover statues, figures, and other kind of pieces like that. And what do I mean by that? Okay. Well, Bethesda has this amazing set. And I'm just going to cover two pieces, very minor, very minor stuff. Uh, but I'm just going to cover two pieces here. So... This is from Bethesda. This is the Fallout series where they make these amazing die cast cars. And I have a lot from these sets, but I'll show you and go in an in depth review of these uh, because they're so incredible. So that's one item that we're going to touch. It's kind of like the. Uh, I, I feel like they're undervalued because they're so amazing at what they are. They're very beautiful pieces, and what they do is very cool for a collector. But on top of that, we'll touch more of the uh, more popular series, like Overwatch. This is a Mercy figure. I have yet to open this, but I want to, and I know it's cool. Uh, the whole set was amazing, what they did on this. And you know what? We're going to open it on the channel. We're going to open it together, so we're going to put it together, and then we're going to go over it, what it's made of, the quality aspects, the very, very highly detailed areas, they call it points of articulation. We'll go over it. It'll be really neat. But that's kind of what we're going to do. And as we go through this journey together, we're going to grow. 
Uh, I'm going to expect you guys to give me some feedback, some sort of comments, uh, what, what I can improve on. I'm always open to that. However, I can't appease everybody. Just know that. But I want to do what makes this a fun, entertaining experience, something great. Like when we're going through the Pokemon cards, I'm not going to read you the names and go through them. I, I know you can read the names, or if you can't read just yet, you're not at that age yet, that doesn't matter. Because you're enjoying the pictures, right? That's what we're doing. That's our goal. To enjoy the artwork. To enjoy picking the, getting amazing cards out of packs. That's what we're here for. I welcome you know all you guys, everybody, please come watch us. And, and what we'll do is we'll go through it. I know some of the other entertainers in, in the different facilities who do videos, they have sayings for different sayings for different cards. And I am happy to do that as well. However, I want to develop our own. So we'll work through that process together where we will make sayings for different cards. If we pull the same one multiple times, we'll get some sort of fun saying. But we don't want to copy others. We're going to do our own. And if somebody else copies us, who cares? We had fun anyway, and we did it first. And that's what we're about. But anyways, as we go through this journey, I do hope you'll enjoy this channel. I really am going to put a lot of time into it. I really want to make this a fun experience, something you guys can come home to and say, man, I really look forward to doing that next survey. I'm so curious to see what questions he has. I'm so curious to see what's going to be coming out in the next video. And hopefully something comes up. Hopefully I go team fire and we win. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, so I do hope you subscribe to this channel. I do hope you thumbs up. Uh, as that is extremely important in this process uh, to develop and build and create relationships in this channel, please subscribe, please thumbs up. Join me in this journey. Curtain callers, hollers, let's have some fun. Thank you. See you in the next video.